Goose's reign is over. Now, I am the ruler of Fairy Tale Kingdom, along with all its riches. Festive greetings, King Cole. Tomorrow is Christmas, but your subjects don't have money to buy presents for their friends and families. Please, Your Majesty, could you reduce the taxes? Reduce the taxes? <laughs> uh, I'd rather cancel Christmas. In fact, consider it canceled. Guards, take him away. Remember me, I'm Humpty Dumpty from Mother Goose's Rhymes. I've come all the way from the fairy tale kingdom. You see, Mother Goose is missing, and King Cole has forbidden us from celebrating Christmas. Only someone with a pure soul can enter our kingdom, so we need your help. What do you say? Will you help us save Christmas? So this is the fairy tale kingdom. Uh oh. Looks like Humpty is about to fall down. Again. Oh my! I'm stuck! Um, can you help me down? I'll introduce you to everyone if you do. Here, take this. Now hurry! I can... Are you? You can't come in. We're conducting an investigation. Now leave. The fairy tale residents worked hard to prepare for Mother Goose's Christmas visit. Diddle Cat played his violin, while the three blind mice wrapped presents. Humpty Dumpty even decorated a chimney.
King Cole got thirsty for gold. His soul turned black with avarice, and one day he took his quill and issued an order prohibiting Christmas. The king ordered the king's men to take everything from Jill, Diddlecat, Humpty Dumpty, and other citizens by force. Only Mother Goose could have stopped this injustice and save Christmas. I'm safe and sound thanks to you. Now, let's go. That building is our headquarters, where we've been coordinating our search for Mother Goose. With you helping us, we'll definitely find Mother Goose and save Christmas. Huh? That's him, the traitor. Catch him. Oh, no. Please, find Mother Goose. She's the only one who can stop King Cole and save Christmas. I hope Humpty escapes those guards. Meanwhile, I'll try to sneak... Hello, please open the door for me. Hi, I'm Jill. I didn't think I'd see anyone outside when it's this cold. I just saw the King's men chasing hump. I'll help you enter the headquarters if you bring me something warm to drink. If it's not too much trouble, I could use some honey tea to soothe my sore throat. Here, I even have some honey with me. Thank you. This is delicious. Wait, I know you. You're my favorite reader. 
I remember one day you kept flipping the page back and forth to make... Unfortunately, Jack is working for King Cole now. But with you here, there's hope. I know you'll find Mother Goose and save Christmas. My poor feet have been freezing since the King's men stole my boots. If you can find me some new boots, I'll come... on fire! Wait, is this Crooked Man? I've got to save him! Beautiful. This is the best Christmas present ever. If you want to put out that fire... Mother Goose created our fairy tale world, including this magical forest. It's full of wonders and many friendly creatures. If you assemble the snowflake, it'll show us...
But we haven't seen Mother Goose since last winter. We searched for her here, but found no trace. Where should we go next? Then King Cole took over, increasing our taxes and using his king's men to enforce them. Many creatures fled into this forest to escape their cruelty. What? Here we go. This is Jack's pail of endless water. I'm entrusting it to you. Good luck. Hello. <coughs> I am the crooked man. The king's men knocked over a lamp and everything caught fire. I was trying to escape when this heavy beam fell on me. My back feels badly hurt. Please, can you lift this thing off of me? I cannot move this beam. If you help me, I'll help you contact Mother Goose.
I cannot move this. Residents of Fairy Tales searched for Mother Goose. First, Diddle Cat investigated the Swan Lake. They even searched the kindergarten, but the children said she hadn't visited, even though they made presents for her. Diddle Cat, who often played music in the market square, reported Jill suggested that Mother Goose could be buying presents at the Crooked Booth. The three blind mice even risked their lives by searching the Humpty Dumpty even explored inside the well on the hill. The three blind mice searched the magical forest, searched everyone, rushed to the winter garden, hoping to Humpty Dumpty's house, decorated with wreaths and garlands, was also empty. Jill remembered that Mother Goose loved to feed the ponies at Dipple Grace. Soon, they had searched the whole fairy kingdom, except for old King Cole's castle. His guards wouldn't let them in. Is it Christmas already? What? No more Christmas? Not on my watch. Sure, I'll help you save the crooked man. He's always been kind to me. Take me with you, and take this hat too. You're gonna catch a cold otherwise. Thank you. Some people are put off by my dark clothes and my name itself, but looks are often deceiving. Though my name carries a bad reputation in your world, I love helping people here. Every The king's men came to arrest everyone, but I helped them escape in my secret passage. The king's men also broke Mother Goose's amulet, but I have all the shards. Take them. If you can restore it,
It worked! Mother Goose must have remembered us. I'm certain this portal leads to her. Soon everything will be back to normal. Hello, dear reader. I'm afraid I'm in trouble. I've been captured and the people are in danger. My fairy tale kingdom needs me. Well, I don't know where I am, but the three blind mice can help you find the way to me. Uh, this portal will take you to them. This ridiculous search for Mother Goose has gone on long enough. Now there's a human here trying to bring back Christmas. Gather all the mice and find that human. Otherwise, you're all be eating breadcrumbs for Christmas dinner. As for you, I'll be taking these in payment. King Cole do that to him? What happened to his merry old soul? <laughs> <laughs> 